Hi guys, we are currently in Marquette, Michigan, and as per UP tradition, we got a pasty. If you don't know what a pasty is, it's like a Michigan native classic. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a pot pie sandwich, right? I don't really know, I don't really know how to describe it, but it looks like this, and they're amazing. They're the best, so I had to, I had to had to. I'm a Michigander, it's only right. <laughs> Yum! These are so good. And you eat them with ketchup. At least uh, natives do. So good. So here's the situation of what we're dealing with today. We are in the middle of a winter storm warning, which UP of Michigan winter storm warnings are like 10 times more brutal than the rest of the country. I don't make up the rules, it's just how it goes. There's 20 foot waves on Lake Superior right now. And it's the middle of October, so. Uh, safe to say I was not expecting to be dealing with this kind of stuff. It's raining right now, but according to the weather app, we're supposed to be getting a foot of snow. And all I have is this puffer and this little neck thing. So yeah, I need to go get more winter gear. I'm, I'm severely underprepared. I think it's supposed to get really bad tonight. The greeter as I was walking out said, be safe out there. It's like, roaming reckless, but I'll do my best. All right, puppy, what do you say? Should we try to go to camp? Oh, I did have a hat up here. Well, I guess I didn't need to buy one. Oh well. Too late. Here we go. Back up. Back up. Oh, puppy, we're gonna match. That's my new hat. That's cute. Hey, give me your paw. <laughs> I know you are not happy about <laughs> already having to wear snow boots, but if we're supposed to be outside for the next few hours before the sun goes down, you definitely are not gonna want snow caked in your paws, okay? Okay, not too tight but we also don't want them falling off. Blue is notorious for kicking off his snow boots. Aren't ya? <laughs> Bubba, you're so cute. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you're so cute. I bet you the boots are gonna last like 10 minutes. <laughs> Good play, go! Huh. 
would have thought we'd be getting this kind of weather in October? <laughs> Gotta love Michigan. Cute. Blue already lost a boot. It's been about 10 minutes, so I was right on target there. Where's your boot? Go get your boot that you lost. Go find your boot. Learn English so you know what a boot means, okay? <laughs> you know, I don't know if these boots are waterproof. Huh. This snow is coming down like it's literally January. What the heck is going on? It's October! Bobby, go find your boots. <laughs> We gotta go, we gotta go put your boot back on. All right, I'll help you look. <laughs> okay, well, seeing as you've been running all over the place. Oh, it's right here. There you go. You're all good. Go play. Bubby officially lost all of his boots. Well, really, I just took them off because <laughs> he kept losing like one of them. And I'm like, well, if you're only going to have three on, whatever. But when he's in the snow constantly for like a long period of time, I really keep an eye on his behavior because I think it's something like dogs can't be on snow for like 30 minutes without it becoming uncomfortable um so now that he's barefoot in the snow i'm just gonna keep an eye on it and probably throw him in the car like every 20 minutes or something to give him a chance to get off of the snow you get it you get it the idea is just to make sure blue is safe and comfortable and not freezing so Anyways, time to exercise this pup before the sun goes down. I still can't believe it's the middle of October. <laughs> like, I just... What? I cannot get over it. Hi. Bobby, come here. Oh, you lost your... Okay. Come here. Drop. Blue is definitely a dog that's obsessed with snow. Like I have to pull him out of it <laughs> because it's like not good for him to be in the snow for too long of periods. But look at this dude. He lives for it. A true Michigander blue. You really are. Good job. Very nice. Good job. I always feel like I'm one of those robbers from Home Alone when I wear gloves like this. It's what they wore when they robbed the house. <laughs> it's like the last one, bub. Blue and I played a little too hard and the sun went down, so... Um, I'm just gonna make something hot to drink before we get into the car to go to bed because it's gonna be a cold night. You know what I mean? I just don't know if I want to make coffee or tea. I don't know. I have to heat up water either way, so... Where is my propane? Um... Oh. Here it is. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Coffee. 
espresso time. Now that I have some, you know, cold weather stuff on, I'm so excited that it's snowing. You guys know I've waited for winter. I mean, I know it's still fall technically. We're just dealing with like a early snowstorm, but all summer long, this was all I waited for. I just wanted winter. And I'm in a campground right now where there's no one here. And there's like 16 sites. That's the other thing that's great about winter camping is like no one dares go out in it. So you have, oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Um, so anyways, you're alone, you have privacy, which you guys know I'm introverted, so I love it. <laughs> All right, pup, it's bedtime. has been napping comfortably I might add oh time for bed I'm just letting the car heat up try to lock in as much heat for tonight as we possibly can. I also know that it's probably like illegal to sleep in jeans, but I'm so tired and it is so cold out. I just, I don't even want to deal with like getting out of the car and changing for bed tonight. So I'm literally just going to sleep in what I'm wearing. Hashtag road life. Value pack, baby. The trick of the trade is to put these in your socks and then go to sleep. Because I don't know about you guys, but the coldest part of me when I sleep is my feet, so. Oh, properly, you're gonna have to let me back there. Can I come back here with you, Pop? This is what you have to do when you're dog won't want you. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, you're so cute. Let me get into bed and then we'll get you back up. Okay? I have to get into bed. Oh man, jeans are so uncomfortable, but I'm at the pinnacle of laziness right now. And I just do not care. All right, hand warmer secured. We can cuddle for warmth. <laughs> Here we go. Our first night car camping in a winter storm morning of the season. And Blue's panting, so he apparently is... Uh, He's good. I think with the two pairs of socks, hand warmers in between each layer of socks, sleeping in jeans, all of the layers I have on top, and I have the hat nearby if I need it. I think I should be okay tonight, even though we were really unprepared. I have like better gear for this too. Like I have heated blankets that are battery operated and stuff I could have brought, but. Once again, it's October, so I thought it would just be like a cute little fall excursion, not a full winter camping night, but that's okay. The road is like that, takes no prisoners. I know there's still heat locked in the car, but overall it feels pretty good. It's not like it's uh, super brutal or anything yet. 
night, Pupper Lou. We made it, bud. We made it through the night. We made it through the night. Come on. Well, you guys were alive. I will say these uh, hand warmers in the socks is the move. Like my feet were amazing all night. The only issue I really ran into, which isn't really anything to do with being cold, it was just the fact that Blue was like a little chilled so we cuddled all night, which I could tell he actually was like starting to get cold because he doesn't really ever do that. And he was like under the covers with me and everything and I was pushed up against the back wall of Rue and so oh my gosh my back is like kind of killing but whatever I mean it's worth it for Blue to be happy right bub yeah you slept well other than that it really wasn't that bad I mean definitely chilly and it like snowed all night but I'd say we've been through worse Man, you gotta love snow in October. See you in the next one.